Hi, I'm Crescent and welcome to my garden. Today I am thinning my peach tree. Okay, here's the peach tree. It's a nice little tree. And it's loaded this year with peaches. And um, I need to come in and thin these peaches to about five to seven inches apart. By doing this, it helps the remaining peaches that will be left on the tree to grow bigger and mature to their fullest potential. Uh, thinning prevents diseases. And like when they're touching like this, see that's, you can get brown rot. And um, because the moisture um, won't be able to dry in between them very well. Instead of having a bunch of little peaches, um, I will have um, nice sized fruit. By thinning the fruit, um, I am not putting as much strain on the tree. See, I mean, look at that. Look at that branch. It's just the strain that it has from the weight of the peaches here. And that's just, it's kind of sad. So we're going to help this tree out and we're going to thin. And like I said, we're going to thin about uh, five to seven inches apart. And I know it's really sad, but you just just do it just i promise just do it it's so sad i know but just do it there's two ways to do this um you can do it by hand like i'm doing it or you can um use a stick use a mop head a broom head whatever you have and i'll just come in and i will find peaches that are together um that are too close and i'll just knock one off like that look at this you guys there's two little ladybugs right here they're so cute so i'm gonna talk more about the word thin because of pressure by society um for women to look a certain way or to have a certain body type we often view thin as healthy i have a friend who is very thin and who has been very thin her whole entire life and she has high blood pressure and high cholesterol, which are both really unhealthy for your body to have and can lead to other serious problems um, if you don't get things under control. The truth is, is that everybody's body types are different. And um, a lot of it has to do with genes from your family. Genes play a huge factor in body types. Um, some people have, you know, big bones. I have small wrists, but um, other people have larger bones. Some people have really high torsos and some people have really long legs or some people have really short legs or some people have bubble butts like I have and some people have flat butts. For years, I have been guilty of shaming myself. And I still do that. Times, like right now, I have a little muffin top above my pants. And so I've even made up a song with a, a friend at girls camp years ago. My muffin top, my muffin top. And you know, it's funny, you know, it is funny. And, but it's not nice. And instead of dwelling on, oh, my butt's so big or my thighs are rubbing together, um, so fat. I need to really think about my body and how awesome and extraordinary it is because my body has housed babies and two of them which were twins, full term twins. I was humongous. This body of mine, you know, thinking about it, um, has fought off stage four breast cancer. Um, it has had many rounds of chemotherapy that um, basically almost killed me. You know, it made my blood cell count go down. All my hair fell out. I was super sick. Many rounds of radiation and it bounced back, you know, bounced back. 17 surgeries on various parts of my body over the last 12 years, sicknesses, mental health issues, it has just been amazing. I need to be nicer to myself. We all need to be nicer to ourselves. This body has allowed me to work and help provide for my family. This body um, lets me hike all the way to the top of Mount Timpanogos. This body run a half marathon. This body allows me to walk 
and to be able to help my fellow man and um, to give back to society and my community. And I'm grateful for my body. I'm so grateful that I have a father in heaven who gave me the body I have. Is my body perfect? No, it's not. Um, I have many scars um, on my body. Those scars have made me who I am today. I'm gonna try not to cry. I am so grateful for all of the hardships and trauma that this body has gone through. We just need to learn to love ourselves and to love our bodies and try to be as healthy as possible, but not focus on being thin. Um, work out, eat healthy, uh, love your body, um, love yourself. And until next time, my friends, get your hands dirty, plant love, grow hope, and harvest peace.